Okay, uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to show you how to hook up a standard set of gauges to uh, check our AC system pressures. Uh, what I want to show you first is make sure that your gauges are, are equipped with your low loss fittings. Okay, got a little ball valve. This will help keep the refrigerant charge inside of the hoses instead of out to the atmosphere. Okay, so those are great. And uh, it's also a pretty good safety tool to keep the refrigerant from getting off of your hands and it will contain it within your hoses. Okay, so red hose, that's going to go to our high side service valve, the small line, the little line, the liquid line. Red for liquid. Okay, then our blue hose is going to go to our big line, our suction side, our vapor side of the system. Okay, again, all three hoses need to have a low loss fitting on them the blue, the red, and the yellow which we'll explain here in just a second, will go to your charging device, your recovery tank, um, whatever you're trying to do to a system. Also your uh, evacuation pump when we get to that section. Okay, so he's got blue hose hooked up to the big line, red hose hooked up to the small line, the liquid line. Now he's going to come into his recovery tank with his yellow hose. Okay. So that's going to give the system access to the recovery pump. We're going to pump the refrigerant from the system into this external tank. So the last thing for him to do is actually give it an outlet source, a discharge source to discharge into the tank. Okay, You can hook it to either side, but it's a little speedier if you hook it to the liquid side. And it would also be speedier if we would put this tank in ice or cool it down somehow. Okay, so uh, when it's real hot outside, that's a pretty useful trick. 